Hello guys, Linda here and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going over the upcoming game Watch Dogs Legion and everything you need to know for the launch including release date, pre-orders, file size, cross-gen info and lots more. First help me reach 500 likes and subscribe for more Watch Dogs Legion info and guides. We will start with the release date and the game is coming out on October 29th. There won't be any delays in the release now, that's when it's officially coming out and as far as I know it's a midnight release time for your local time. Of course you will be able to pre-download the game, the release time for that hasn't been announced but the file size is expected to be around 48GB on Xbox and it will be around the same on other platforms, PlayStation, PC and Stadia. You can pre-order the game right now for around $60 or £60 for the standard edition and that includes next gen. So you only need to purchase the game once on Xbox and PlayStation 4 and when you get the new gen console you can install it for free on Xbox X series and the PlayStation 5. And that's the same for all the other editions as well. Of course if you buy a physical copy that won't be possible. The standard edition also comes with a gold king pack that includes a golden skin for two pistols, a gold car skin and a gold king mask. If you're looking for something a little more then the gold edition is £85 or $85 and the Ultimate Edition is £100 and $100. That's a pretty steep price considering what you get. Both do come with a season pass that includes a major expansion, which I will go over later in the video, like more missions, heroes and unique abilities, also a unique car skin, plus you will get access to the original Watch Dogs game for free. So it may be worth spending the 85 on the Gold Edition, but the Ultimate Edition comes with those exact things, but also three unique skins as well and essentially you're paying an extra 15 for those three skins so it's not really worth that I don't think. Lastly though the collector's edition is 150. It comes with all the stuff of the ultimate edition but the extras in game that it comes with are the DED coronet mask for your character, a detailed real life replica of that mask, a steel book, posters, stickers, the London dissident mask pack and four weeks of Ubisoft VIP access. And so personally I'm not a big fan of collector editions but the 158 is definitely worth a lot more than the ultimate edition. But those are all the available options for you plus of course the physical copy. Next a little bit of info on next gen. The features on the next gen the game will run at 4k 30fps on both the PS5 and Xbox Series X while ray tracing is supported on both so you should be able to enable it. So that's good news about the ray tracing but it's not so good that they will be limiting it to 30 fps on next gen. There's also an online mode for the game that's separate from the main story and is designed for co-op in mind, I will go over that again later, but crossplay won't feature at launch for it and is planned in year one. On PC the system requirements are on screen now, I'm not going to go over every single setting but you can disable ray tracing if you don't have the requirements for it but all the settings are listed for you with both ray tracing enabled and disabled so you can see what you need in order to run the game at launch. I want to mention microtransactions as like most games they will play a part in it. Watch Dogs Legions will feature in-game microtransactions at the premium store for optional cosmetic items, ETO packs, you can buy collectibles maps and you can buy new operatives. All can be bought with real money and they won't offer too much of an advantage for you. The operatives will be unique compared to the free ones you can find throughout the city but they don't offer anything other than better looks and personalities. The actual gameplay mechanics for them will be the same. Last but not least post launch content. I mentioned a little bit with the season pass and multiplayer so kicking off on December 3rd there will be a free update that adds co-op for up to 4 players and new missions with co-op in mind. A PvP mode will be added called the Spiderbot Arena. 4 to 8 players will take control of lethal spiderbots and compete in a hectic free for all deathmatch. In 2021 new characters will be arriving to recruit and there will also be new abilities, new missions and a new game plus mode. On top of that if you're a season pass owner there is tons of new content to look forward to including the Watch Dogs Legion Bloodline, a new story expansion. Not only does the Bloodline add a new storyline but also gives players access to four very special playable operatives including Aiden Pierce, the protagonist from the original game. So guys that is about it for this one, everything you need to know before you buy Watch Dogs Legion. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful then leave a like it's very much appreciated and drop a comment below about what you think of the game so far. But for now thanks for watching and I will see you guys again very soon for another video.